Hello everybody. Today I thought I'd share my methodology with training the chat GPT prompt with financial indicators with the end goal of generating PineScript to do our trading for us on TradingView. So I've been playing around with this for a little while now with different things. I think you can, well I lost a lot of my data when they, I don't know, they upgraded or they did something and I lost all of my, uh, my history previously before this, but this is the history I have. You can see what I've been messing around with. But anyway, I asked ChatGPT to tell me about financial indicators, specifically MACD, RSI. The Heiken Ashi, I guess, is not an indicator. It's more of a strategy, candle strategy. I'm still learning this stuff. But anyway, MFI and EMA. And then ChatGPT goes on to explain the moving average converge, convergence divergence, relative strength index, the Heiken Ashi, the money flow index, and the exponential moving average. All right, then, this is just the training of the prompt. I'm trying to direct it to the outcome I want to be generated. So I asked, when is a good time to buy with MACD and a good time to sell an asset with MACD? And ChatGPT answers. Then I asked it to generate a Pine script with the MACD indicator. But these Pine scripts, they must be old because they're not, they fail and you have to, you have to change some stuff up in them. We'll get to that later. But right now we're just basically training the prompt to generate the response that we want. Then I asked what's a good time to buy with RSI and then moving on, we're asking it when is a good time to buy EMA and when is a good time to sell. So we're looking at our long and short positions. And then ChatGPT goes on to explain. Then I asked it to generate the Pine script with the EMA indicators, with entry, both long and short entry. Then I asked ChatGPT to generate a script when all the indicators were in confluence, when they all corresponded and correlated. Yes, in confluence is the correct term. And again, all these scripts are failing because it must be old. I haven't been into Pine Script for that long and I'm not sure if the language changed in the past two years or, or so since ChatGPT stopped being trained so but I have I have modified some of these and got them to somewhat work. And again I'm hopefully training this model and hopefully they don't lose my lose my history and it is getting a little smarter and as we scroll along here I did copy some of these and I modified a few and got them to work in trading view in the uh, script editor and we're scrolling backtracking here to see what ChatGPT does. And here I, I believe where this is version, the current version of PineScript, version 5. Correct me if I'm wrong. still throwing errors here because I don't think version 5 was available when ChatGPT stopped being trained on data. So I started, I copied in a template that actually worked. I think that one worked. I have to look again. But we're getting closer to our magic money making machine here. 
Well, here I'm trying to train the model to have uh, recognized variables. Like each script will be in its own variable, and I just call that variable, and ChatGPT will generate the script. And I have got it working, but it seems like uh, the AI just forgets sometimes and argues with me, but then it then it eventually do it. I guess it's all on the prompt training, right? I keep getting the, you know, the standard uh, safety response here, even for a task that it's already, already done. I guess you guys have to word everything specifically and succinctly. And we're still getting the, the safety pop up. Sometimes you have to be direct, direct with your computer. We're still playing around with Pine Script here, and again, I think none of these are functional. We need to input int. We have that, okay. This might be starting to get to our functional scripts here. Well, I hope you all get the idea, and this is just my methodology and my way of training the AI with the prompts that I wanted to uh, generate well, the responses I wanted to generate training the prompts to get to those responses this is a really fun game and exercise and I hope you all like it